In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the windowing tool. We will start by summarizing what is found in this tutorial. What you are looking at are the three same sagittal sections from the CT study that Dr. Kim was asked to evaluate for back pain. You are looking at section number 42. A different windowing was used in each of the three tile screens. In the first tile screen to the left, the windowing was set to bone. In the second tile screen, the windowing was set for long. And in the third tile screen, the windowing was set for brain. In this tutorial, we will explain what windowing is and why we use it, show you how to select preset windowing levels, show you how to customize windowing levels. There are three steps in selecting the preset windowing levels. First of all, you move your cursor to the bottom of the screen to activate the toolbar. Secondly, you click on the windowing icon. You right click. Thirdly, you set the preset windowing level that you would like to view. So we will preset bones. This ends the introduction to windowing. Because different tissues have different radial densities as seen in this table, it is important to be able to adjust windowing width and windowing center to optimize the viewing of each tissue. If you are familiar with light photographic techniques, then you can think of adjusting windowing center similar to adjusting the brightness of a photograph. In the same sense, adjusting windowing width is similar to adjusting the contrast of the photograph. Let us focus on the center tile screen whose windowing is set to mediastinum. Notice that the windowing width and center are displayed in the lower left hand corner. The width is 300 and the center is 49. Now let's adjust the windowing to optimize the viewing of bones. Notice that the width is now 1800 and the center is 800. In other words, the window width is displaying 1800 grayscale values. If we went back to mediastinum, the window width would be 300. So there are 300 grayscale values being displayed in this image, going from all the way from black to light. Sometimes it is desirable to use a windowing that is not provided by the presets, in which case you have to customize the windowing. That's easy to do. First of all, you take your cursor to the bottom of the page, you select the windowing tool, and I'm going to preset this at mediastinum. Now, I have right now a width of 300. If I left click, hold, and drag to the left, you notice that the number gets much higher. In this case, I've gone up to 1,462. If I left click and drag to the right, you notice that the number gets smaller. And it goes down to a width of 3. Returning to mediastinum, I can also change centering. So I have a centering right now of 50. If I left click, hold, and drag up, you see that the centering goes to a negative 460. It gets smaller. If I left click, hold, and pull down, I go to a higher value. In this case, 235. This ends the tutorial on windowing.